morning everybody Cynthia here from Recollect and Ramble uh, welcome to my channel uh, once again I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has uh, who's been subscribing who've been commenting and liking my posts that really means a lot to me and um, yeah I'm just I'm just so happy that you're that you're here joining me so let's get started um, I was hoping to have um, yet another uh, junk journal to share with you this this week, um, but things got uh, <laughs> a little crazy. <laughs> but I did do um, I did do a lot of making, a lot of creating this week, and I'm just going to share with you uh, some of those things that are that are going on. So one of the things that um, that happened uh, this week is that I am I'm actually going to be directing. Um, part of the next show at the community theater and so that that at the timing of that kind of kind of got in the way of me spending as much time in the studio as I'd like but let's get started here so one thing that I was going I, I wanted to do was really uh, get into making some new ephemera so that um, putting together a new junk journal Will be as as easy and painless and good not painless it's never painful um, as possible so anyway let's get started with the ephemera that um, I created this last week and I really you know I love doing that I have a lot of fun getting out all my little bits and bobs and and putting them together so um, so yeah let's get started all right so here I've just got um, I just made some journal cards tried to combine uh, some of those labels that I got from Timu, um, hauling out my my uh, paper flowers and my little bits like stamps and things like that. So I'll just go through some of these. Don't know if I'll talk too much about um, any of them. If I don't, I'll play you some nice music in the meantime. <laughs> All right. Now this actually would, it's going to be a good sort of like uh, side of the page, like a side pocket. Um, it's just got a little bit of a fold over there, so maybe it could even be like a belly band. Have something through it like this, and then also some little ephemera in there. Um, here I just uh, punched out a butterfly there, laid it across some, some paper strips. Very nice and simple. Um, here I tried to combine some torn scraps. Some of these, uh, I got some, um, some stickers from Timu that I wasn't crazy about. I made the mistake of not sending them back. I should have sent them back. Um, but what I did was I got the one time, um, you can do like a one time return where you don't actually have to return the items. I kind of wish I had now, um, but that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to to sort of use them. And so I tore, tore the sticker up and, uh, and distressed the edges and it kind of works. So that will be either like a belly band or just a, just a side, uh, decoration on a page. Here's a belly band. Um, this, uh, of course is a vintage stamp, just some scraps and things. What I did do, and I will um, share this with you in another video because I don't have it handy right now. I did get from Timu a, uh, a die cutting machine. I've never had one before. Um, I was getting um, a little bit distressed about where to get good paper flowers. Um, I looked online. It used to be you could buy like these pre from Prima, Primo, Prima. Anyway, these canisters just full of a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes and colors of of paper flowers and those are not as readily available as they used to be I think I can still get them like Amazon or someplace but I thought you know I'm gonna pay like I don't know 20 bucks or something for this thing of paper flowers and I'd never gone into the whole world of die cutting and I decided why don't you just get a little die cutter and give it a try so I do have um, oh this one right here this flower right here for example I die, die cut and assembled myself. So, so I did get a die cutter. And like I said, I will share that with you in another video, but these, uh, little tiny things, I didn't realize that the dies were this small. Um, but I cut those out of some of my gel printed, uh, uh, mailing labels. And I thought 
those added a nice touch anyway on this belly band that was a really long explanation <laughs> sorry you guys so yeah just some it's just going to be a nice belly band in a book just some little journal cards like i said this is um from the timu die cuts that i got using my little die cut machine these are some stickers from timu and then a beautiful vintage stamp from ireland another just simple journal card here with you might recognize that um, that butterfly from here. So I cut that butterfly out of there and use that on another card. Um, here again, so this is the negative from that die cut of all those stars that were on this belly band. So I just used that on uh, this journal card. There's some more of those little stars. So yeah, just just a collage of elements and I really love how that one turned out. Uh, this is probably just going to be uh, like a tag um, that will fit into a pocket this way. Um, but yeah, I kind of like like this, how it sort of extends past. And then one of my little flower fairy cards there. So that'll just be a nice tag. Um, this I kind of thought is, of as maybe a belly band, uh, just some washi tape, paper flowers, a little bit of that beautiful lace. And I also made this large, uh, this large journal card with just some, some scraps and things. But then I thought, wouldn't this be kind of cool? Because they're just exactly the same length. Is to have um, this just be like a tuck. Like maybe this could be either on a page, maybe as another pocket, or it could just be uh, clipped to a page. And um, then you could have another. Uh, like a little, not this one exactly, but a little journal card that fits down in there. And then you wouldn't lose any of the decoration. So just a couple of ideas for those. Otherwise, this is also a nice large journal space. Uh, just a simple journal card there. Again, just a simple collaged journaling card there. Oh, and I didn't, oh, I didn't distress the edges of this. I'd better do that. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. I'm thinking about it. So once again, you guys, um, I really want to thank everybody who has subscribed and taken the time to comment. Like I said, even if all you want to do is just say hello, tell me, just say hello from Poughkeepsie or wherever you're from. <laughs> that would be awesome because a lot of times I don't, I don't know where uh, my followers actually come from. So, so yeah, just let me know. Say hi. That'd be great. There we go. Now that is all done. Um, here is another. This could be like a side pocket or a belly band. Um, use some of those label stickers, a pretty little butterfly sticker. Some of my, my favorite uh, buttons here. And I do have an entire container of little inch, <laughs> little inchy, uh, I think they're cut from, uh, from uh, feed, feed sack fabric. So I've started using those two. A uh, little bit of washi tape. Really simple. Just put together elements that you like and it just comes out great, you guys. Here is an old uh, button card with this peacock on it. Some more of that feed sack fabric. Um, I have lots of these uh, stamps with Queen Elizabeth. I like them quite a lot now. I, I wasn't crazy about them before, but but now it's just, it's kind of poignant because uh, she's no longer with us. So, um, yep, paper flower there. And there is some journaling space on the back. But this might be a corner tuck spot. I kind of like these as tuck spots. Here is part of a button card. This came to me uh, torn off already. I love, this is like just natural, you know, rust or something. Again, just some scraps, a vintage stamp. And that will probably be a nice little tuck spot as well. A vintage playing card. I love these cards. I just uh, love this graphic on the back of them. Um, a little bit of an off cut from doing some, some die cutting uh, there and some collaging, just collaged elements. And then this is a uh, part of, well, you, you can see seam binding ribbon. So it's old, like a metal sort of wrapped around it. Um, so I thought I took a section of that and thought that worked really well there. Here's another belly band uh, using some of those fabric pieces, paper flower, 
and a couple of those are those are nice little shell buttons as well so yeah that'll be a nice little belly band here we just have a little page decoration um, this actually is off of an envelope and it is from Czechoslovakia this is not the stamp that was on it but I just happened to have a Czech stamp there so I backed that with a little square fabric just decorated it up with the label there and and some paper flowers this is a vintage uh, recipe card handwritten got it it's a nice spot there to to journal on just decorated that up with some colors that echo echo that uh, fruit basket up there and this is one of those uh, handmade flowers that I made using the the die cutter and then you'll see here some more of that feed sack fabric there we go this is actually a pocket so I decorated this pocket um, this will just be attached to a page probably and um, this and oh there was another one that I added uh, oops I can't find it now oh shoot um, <laughs> that I added oh anyway I'll find it sometime um, so I got a ton of these rub-ons from Dollar Tree and this is a new package I haven't opened this one yet um, and uh, I haven't used them. I don't know what's going on. I just didn't, didn't think to use them on anything. So I've decided to start uh, cutting them out and actually applying them. And they are actually really nice, you guys. They, they stick really well. Um, they just, they transfer so nicely. They're so pretty. And so, yeah, I did a little collaging on, on this pocket and added one of those transfers onto there. So, so anyway, that is, I think, the extent of my ephemera that I created um, for an upcoming, well, for, probably for more than one <laughs> junk journal. So, so yeah, I got lots of stuff, lots of stuff there. The next thing, a uh, bit of news, is I have been asked, and some of you have probably seen this gentleman's artwork elsewhere. Um, a man named Anton, who has uh, an Etsy shop uh, called Bontique Designs, and I will put a link to that as well as, you guys, a, a nice discount code for you to use in his store on Etsy. Um, I am lucky enough to work someplace, well, at the theater, um, where for a very small donation, <laughs> I am able to do some full color copies. I don't have a fancy printer at my home. So I don't use kits because to me, uh, well, first off, I don't, I don't typically use kits because I don't really have an easy way to copy them off. I also don't necessarily, um, I hate to say this because I am trying to, his kits are beautiful. You guys, you need to go check out, check out his shop on Etsy. They are lovely. And, and, um, he was so generous with offering me some, some free items. And, um, I actually have gone back and purchased from him now because his, it, it's, it's just beautiful. I mean, you can tell from just this little bit that I'm showing you that the colors that he uses, I mean, everything just prints out so beautifully. Um, so this kit is called Springtime Joy. I did not use everything from it. I just wanted to do the half. These are called half pages. I mean, technically you could just cut off the white edge, fold them in half, put them together and make a book. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Um, I have decided I'm going to use them. Some of them I may do full pages like this. I may just decide to keep them full page. Others I may, maybe I'll, I'll decide to only like tear out this butterfly. Maybe I will just take a little bit of this house. Maybe I, you know, I might just take portions of it and use it um, in some ephemera. Anyway, that's a, sorry, I'm probably not explaining it quite correctly. But let me show you these half pages that we have. And these are beautiful. The colors I are... I did um, copy these onto paper that is not quite white because I wanted a little more of an antiqued look to them. And I think they came out beautifully. 
Um, so I will just leaf through these. And this is just um, the, the a little portion of this kit. That I just, I love these colors. They're fantastic. Right up my alley. I will tell you that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's leaf through these. And then I will also show you um, some, is this cute? Jeez, I want to just live there. Uh, I will also, I also kind of want to live there, but we'll replace the glass in the, in the windows. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, just really, really nice stuff. Now these are some pages that were uh, copied onto white. I did take some mailing labels because uh, these are going to be in my mushroom journal if I ever get started on that. Um, and I wanted to make these into stickers. So I can cut these out and then they will just be stickers because they're on um, plain mailing labels. This was just a tester, but I thought, what the heck? It's beautiful. I'll take it. Um, oh, another tester. We kind of messed up a couple. Of them. <laughs> and then this is an example of, he does have some pages that are like, he calls them like ACTs, tags, whatever. So then he has these that are actually shaped um, as pockets or as tags, things like that. So, so that is also available. Anyway, just wanted to share those with you because this is going to be um, a project I'm working on. Now, this kind of goes along. Well, it actually go, very much goes along with it. So what I did yesterday was I got out my gel plates. It's been a long time since I've done gel printing. Um, I love it, you guys. I don't know why I don't do it more often. I think because it's messy. Um, so yeah, yesterday I went down, down to the kitchen because doing it on my in my studio is just hard 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 because it just is messy so what i did was i gel um printed a bunch of pages i picked out some paint colors that i thought kind of went along with those graphics now some of these seem very plain and i will explain what these uh strips are well you can maybe see there um some of them are very plain i'm going to add uh, more marks to them, probably manually. I like doing mark making, so with some uh, paint markers, just regular paint, paint brushes, and uh, yeah. So I'm just going to go through these. I also, these are plain on the back. I'm going to probably gel print these also on the other side, just to give them a little more interest. So we will go through these. There's quite a few of them. I had no idea. <laughs> I was just sort of in a fever pitch down in the kitchen. Uh, doing some just gel printing backgrounds here and yeah with just a I love I love it when little accidents like that happen it picks up paint from someplace else on the plate and it's just beautiful so yeah leafing through there there we go this one also I, I just kept laying this on the plate and it, it picked up some really really nice color on that here I added some stuff to the top and yeah, just keep going through. Don't need to explain every single one, but look at this. Look at this, what happened here in the, in these spaces. Ugh, just, ugh, I just love it. Now some of these could also get torn up um, and used uh, as, as collage fodder as well. So this one was a little dark. We'll have to spruce that guy up. And this one I just loved. Uh, Anyway, yeah, just love it. I, I love doing gel printing. Now an explanation about these strips. When I mail packages out, when I make a sale, every time uh, I print uh, a mailing label, I chop off, I, I just like the label, I just want the label. So I trim off the edges of the paper and I end up with uh, piles of these off cuts. So these are off cuts from when I, from my shipping labels. And I, this is an idea I came up with last year. And then what I do is when I'm doing some gel printing, which is why you noticed on there, some of them have those, those uh, big squares across them. And that's where these were, uh, laid face down. And then I put another, I do like a second printing on, let's see if I can pick one up. So this, 
started off as kind of this pink, um, this mottled pink. And then I did a, a layer on the gel plate of like this dark, this dark um, kind of greenish black. And then I laid down my strips and then I put this pinkish piece of paper on top of it and it pulled up the black that was in between my strips here. Okay. So then you pull this off and it's got this over, over print, this dark over print over that pink. Anyway, if that, if that's, that's probably a terrible explanation. <laughs> so anyway, just going to show you some of, some of the strips that I made. Um, I really love this turquoise. I'm not sure it's quite the right color family, um, for this, but I need to get some more like regular blue paint, like just blue, like denim blue, just, you know, blue. Um, <laughs> But I love these. I just love, there's just unexpected things that happen with the gel plate. And I just really, really enjoy it. So here's some, here's some more, just kind of fun, some fun prints. Um, yeah, I'll just leave through these kind of quickly. Um, I do have some stamps. I used a couple of the stencils that I purchased um, on Timu as well. Um, I do have some handmade uh, stamps like this one that looks like bricks. I made that out of craft foam. I use that a lot. I really love that one. As you can see here, the blue on here. So I just loved this set, but I am an 80s girl and there are so many 80s colors here. <laughs> so I just love me some turquoise and bright yellow and pink. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I'll just leaf through these. If I get done, if I get tired of talking or think you'll get bored listening to me, I'll just, you know, add some music. Now also what happens is as I'm trying to fill the spaces on my sheets is that sometimes there's just a, like a little corner, an edge or someplace. <clears throat> and I want to, I want to, I don't want to lose that opportunity. So I just put in uh, little pieces and that's what, that's what all of these are. These are little space filling pieces that I added. And these are so nice because they, you can just use them as you like just to add just a touch of interest. And because they are made, uh, they're just uh, off cuts from, um, let me see if I can get this one open. They're just off cuts from uh, mailing labels. They are sticky. They are stickers. So they can just, just get stuck right down on stuff. So yeah, these were just some of the little, little off cut pieces that I had. Now, there is no way that I can use all of these offcuts, and I think I'm probably going to be making some more uh, sometime, I don't know, today, maybe. I have no idea. But if you would like me to send you a packet of some of my offcuts that I have, uh, that I've gel printed, why don't you leave me a comment and let's pick... Let's pick a keyword. Um, use the keyword, um, I don't know. Let's just use the keyword offcuts. Uh, so use that keyword offcuts in your message. And uh, so yeah, just leave me a comment, say hi, put in offcuts, just 
yeah, whatever. And um, yeah, leave me that. And I will actually, I'll just do a drawing or maybe if there's, I don't know, I hope there's more than a few, but if there's just a few of you, it's fine. Then I will send a little packet of offcuts um, off to you so that you can enjoy using them too. Because like I said, there is no way I'm going to be able to use all of these. And I do have some, um, I don't have them quite within uh, range right now, but I have a lot of these that I, that I made in the past and recently found. So I will send maybe some of those to you too. Anyway, just let me know. Offcuts in the comments. All right, you guys, that is it for me for today because it's obvious that I have a lot of work to do and I am really looking forward to it. So thanks again so much. This is Cynthia St. Anne from Recollect and Ramble. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, because I would love to see you right back here. Thanks so much, you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> Bye.